And that co-host, he's a 5'11 sophomore from Pewter yeah. Arena, North Carolina. I've seen Featherhead Zone Caddy. It's Mullet. And that co-host, he's a six-foot junior from Fuqua River, North Carolina. He took off his diaper, put it on his head, and said, Man, your feet smell like cheese. His name is Goose. And that guest, he's a 5'11 sophomore from Fuqua River, North Carolina. He wears a triple XL because that's all they sell. I just shot guns. It's Buckshot. All right, guys, we're glad to be back for you here today. And we have a special guest for you guys. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Buckshot. <laughs> Thank you all for having me on Tobacco oh, yeah. Road Talk Show. Thank oh, we're, thank you for, for being coming. Here. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're it's a happy, pleasure. happy to have you here. Uh, besides the state stuff, we'll yeah. work on that no, next time. No, no, no. We love the state yeah. stuff. Yeah. Uh, we'll work on that next time, but uh, glad you could join us today. Anytime. for. Yes, absolutely. We've got a lot to talk about today and a short amount of time to do it. So Absolutely. Let's, let's uh, dive right in. Let's, as they said in high school. Like I, like I did in the air as a young goose, I just dove. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, all right, so we've got an interesting uh, week of games coming up. I'm sure. <laughs> we have, well, we got North Carolina on the bye this week. Right. So that's that's automatically. That's good for teams that need wins. Yeah, absolutely. That's a or thing that or bad teams like. that need wins. Mm -hmm. That's a thing that people do. Yeah, but um, interesting week of games this week, so. Tonight at seven o'clock, which is Friday for Sorry, us. We didn't even review last. What you just jumping in? Yeah, we didn't even review yeah. last week's game. Yeah, we'll review them as we go. I thought we reviewed them in the beginning. Eh, it doesn't matter. We'll do it in. This is the danger zone. Yeah, sorry guys, I went straight into the danger zone. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so last week's game, we had Miami and Virginia Tech. I called that. We did. Right, we next, called that. Next game. Uh, -uh. uh twenty-five, twenty-four. My ideas. Uh. Wake and North Carolina, we were both wrong. It was a 59-53. Both great games by the Sams. Um, Sam Hartman and Sam Howell. Sam H's. Yeah, the Sam H's, actually. Yeah, yeah. blew that lead. Yeah, they, they, they pulled the Falcons right there. But that, that's besides <laughs> the point. Um, that's true. Notre Dame took care of Boston College. 14-point victory. but uh, I, Yeah, it was not that close on in the game. I mean, yeah. Boston College came out and scored early, but after that, it was just all Notre Dame. Mm -hmm. uh, Virginia and Louisville was 31-17 Wahoos. Yeah, so, it was a good pick by us. That. Um, and the Wolf Puppies take care of the Seminoles. Yeah, and you need to watch your mouth. <laughs> the Wolf Puppies take care of the Seminoles and um, of Florida State and Raleigh. 38-22 was the final there, and then, of course... And George Sickers in play. Yeah, we're postponed against Pitt. But that game is now rescheduled for Thursday night at 7 o'clock on December the 10th. So, they, at least they get that game back. Woo! Absolutely, that's good. So, I mean, that's good for us, I guess. Geoff and the other Geoff. Geoff Collins, exactly. And Geoff Sims. No, that's just Jeff. No, it's Geoff. No, it's not. It's, all right, it's anyway. Spelled, like with the G, <clears throat> no going back. Okay, all right. <laughs> Okay, so this week we've got Syracuse and Louisville on Friday night at 7 o'clock. Um, That'll be tonight. ESPN. That'll be tonight <laughs> for us. <laughs> Tomorrow at 7 o'clock. <laughs> that means Friday. Oh, wow. Okay, okay so uh, what is your pick on this one? What is your pick, your analysis of? What I you think mm, Louisville, I think, might be able to pull it out. They might squeak by by about 10. Um, Syracuse, Louisville's favored by almost 20. Oh, well. well. Don't, this is my prediction. Don't right. jump, the, don't jump the gun on that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See what we did there? Yeah, oh yeah. Syracuse might jump out early, and then I think Louisville will fight back and take the lead. And about the second quarter, and it'll be all Louisville from then on out. All right, that's it. What do you think, Malik? I'd agree with that. Pick. That's, a, that's think, a good pick. I think, I think Louisville's going to – their offense is going to be too Malik much. Cunningham, they just, that defense won't be able to stop their, their running ability. Malik, um, <clears throat> I think Louisville – Tommy DeVito <laughs> and Syracuse will give him a good chance early, but is Tommy look, DeVito not is he, is he back? Ah, uh, because there was that other dude with the long hair that lost to Liberty. Maybe. Too I don't know. We'll have to see, but um, I think just that offense will get there early, but then after that, it's all cards from there. I see. Um, so the blind man. So the game of the week, I guess, is Clemson at Florida State. Mm. I guess that's what they're calling it because it's. Used to be a rivalry, but now it's just a seven and one against a two and six. It's an ant in a boot, a hand boots. in a butt. 
Switch and a tail. Yeah. All three. Sad that Florida State isn't good anymore. I, no, I'm happy with watch. that. I'm not complaining. Uh, well, I mean, I really don't <laughs> care. They're not in our, uh, our side of the conference anyway. So that was I mean. the only big team State could upset. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's that's just the truth. That is that. That's we miss point. those games. Um, so, what do you have, Buckshot? Clemson, Florida State. And Clemson, Tallahassee. Clemson's going to win by about three, three touchdowns easy. I, I think they're going to blow Florida State out. I know it is in Tallahassee, but that don't mean they much. don't have a lot of fans. And <laughs> it doesn't mean much. Yeah. So I think Clemson's going to get – I think they're going to win pretty easily. One question, is Travis back? Um, that's a very good question. We'll find out. Either way, I'm still they thinking Clemson by the speed of Travis. Uh, I don't know if Travis is back yet. It doesn't say here. If Travis is back, then I give Florida State a three touchdown loss. So it doesn't matter. They're they're still getting their butts handed. Down. Yeah, exactly. Um, that's yeah, Clemson by twenty eight, thirty something like that. Absolutely. Um, Wake Forest and Duke is postponed this week as yeah. well. I pick oh, Wake Forest for whenever they play. So yeah, I mean if they if they play again, I'm going to Deeks on that one, but we'll talk about that at a later date. Good. Uh we've got the Virginia Tech Hokies traveling to Pittsburgh at Heinz Field to play the Panthers. Buckshot, what you got here? Uh I've seen Virginia Tech play and I've seen Pitt play a little bit. Um they're both four and four, so they're both five hundred. I think and Pitt's at home. Mm-hmm. So I think Pitt's got the advantage there to I think they might be able to squeak by right there. So, Virginia Tech's three-point favorite, so you have Pitt with the upset. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Upset, I think. That's my opinion. All right. All right. I all think right. I'm going to go ahead and take Virginia Tech on that one. Uh, their offense just looks so good. Uh, uh, no one can stop their running game. If they get their running back back, that got hurt, what, how many weeks ago against Liberty? Two, uh, three weeks ago? Um, two. Yeah, two weeks two ago. Weeks ago. Uh, he's back. If, if he's back, uh, I give Tech a – 10-point win. I think it'll be close all the way up to the end, and, but I think Texas can pull that one out. I mean, I think we're going to go shot for shot here. <laughs> um, sorry. <laughs> so so slap her right there. Uh, yeah, sorry, guys. Last time I heard that one, I fell off my dinosaur. <laughs> I said. Okay, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think this one is just going to be a back-and-forth game. But I think Virginia Tech will sneak it out in the end. They're favored by three and a half, and I think that'll be it right there about a field goal to win it. Okay. Um, but I, it could easily go Pitt's way, too. It right. just depends on, you know, if they get that running back, you know, healthy and stays healthy if he plays. Um, big one of the week, go. one and four Abilene Christian oh. travels to Charlottesville to play the three and four Wahoos oh of Virginia. Oof. That's my game of the week. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to be tough. I think I'm going to go with the f- – no. Who do we have here? Oh, there's someone in a black suit. Good night. Okay, well, good talking to you. Hope you have a good one. That was a buzz. Yeah. yeah. Okay, anyways. Like surprise visitors I was scared. I, I, I was fearing for my life for a minute, but it's okay. Scared. I don't get scared. I don't cry. Popped out back there. Gosh. Oh. We almost had to buckshot him right there for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! <laughs> they wouldn't have liked that. <laughs> uh, so what do you have, have here? Buckshot. Abilene Christian or you got the Wahoos? I think the Wahoos are going to pull it out. So. Pull it out or? <laughs> they they, 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 they like might a win by a good margin. Maybe right. double digits at least. They should. I mean, they're favored by almost 40. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, Cle- Florida State has a better shot at beating Clemson than they do. I don't know about that. Vegas. That, that's your odds. Vegas. <laughs> Vegas. 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 That's Vegas my reason. On point. Um, Why are they the Wahoos and the Cavaliers? Does anybody know that? Like, Why is Auburn the War Eagle, but they're also the Tigers? I don't know, that's, Why does Miami have a duck mascot and they're the Hurricanes? Well, they question. Like tar heels and they got that ram. Like, uh, nobody that's a, knows. <laughs> These are questions. We need answers. We need answers, people. If you know the answers, drop them below. Yeah, drop the comments. Hit them in the comments. Yeah, absolutely. Comments. We'd love to hear from you. Yeah, we definitely would. Um, <laughs> I would c- comment your name of your uncle's pet. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Interesting question of the week. It's interesting question of the week. <laughs> <laughs> all right, anyways. Uh, Hang on. Wahoos. Absolutely. Yeah. I think we're all unanimous, unanimous on the Wahoos. We can hammer that one down. I don't know. I'll buy, uh, they're looking kind of, I don't know. They're, they're one and they're, four. They're quarterback? They're one and four. Probably throwing like 300 yards for the year. Like, he's looking good. <laughs> 
when Trevor throws for 515 in a game. And your quarterback only throws for 300 yeah, in the season? Could that be me? Um, nice. And then, in my opinion, the real game of the week here is the number 21 in the country, the Liberty Flames, that travel pains, to Raleigh. That you to say, doesn't it? What? The real game of the week. Yeah. Uh, the NC State's the real game of the week. Ah. That hurts. Welcome um, to 2020, folks. That's that's when you know it's weird. We're here. Uh, <laughs> Welcome to the fishbowl. Exactly. So, we've got the wolf puppies and the flames. Buckshot, I want to hear what you got. I know I'm a state fan, but I think the Liberty Flames are going uh, to win by about 14, I think. Wow. It, about in between 10 and 17 is my prediction. I like that pick. So, that's, a, that's a very sadly, strong Sadly, but... Yeah, Liberty's that's... done some great stuff over the past two years, so I think Hugh, they're going to do defer. pretty good this weekend. Yeah. I was just up there two weekends ago, and they got a nice, nice facility. Oh, they do for you know, no doubt about baseball it. players. That's nice. Football players were working out, so it's yeah. good to tour their campus to see all them. That's nice. All right. Yeah. Well, you mm-hmm. know, I want to go to Liberty, but as much as I, that's that might be my alma mater, i got to stay home. <laughs> so, I'm going with NC State. Wolf We're going to, I give, I, the only reason I say this is because, I mean, Malik Willis can throw the ball down the field. It's going to be, State's going to need to bring pressure to make him throw the ball down the field. Uh, they need to mix it up, and I think that they can mix it up, but it's just going to be a question of will they mix it up, mm-hmm. and how will Doran mix it up. And if that, if they stop that run early, if they, and, if State gets up, can well, they maintain? Can it? they keep their foot on the gas for right. one time, ever? Because they just ease on up like a grandma driving to church on Sunday. They go for a Sunday stroll and realize it's a street race. Then, re- then, <laughs> then, then realize that Bo and Luke are on your back tail, <laughs> yeah. beeping the horn at you. And um, then, then you wreck. Yeah. So um, I'm gonna quote. My man from college game day, Mr. Lee Corso. Not so fast, folks. I've got the Flames JD of Liberty. Hall. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the Flames of Liberty. I like what Malik Willis is doing. He's thrown one interception all year. What are they, 7 and 0? And yeah. Eight. They are 8 and 0. Did you see that he is a, uh, he's sixth in the polling right now for Heisman? Oh, there you Malik go. Willis? Yeah. Boom, dark horse Heisman candidate. Yeah, watch out. Watch out, Malik Willis. He's coming for you. He's, he's Trevor. On. He's also run for 700 yards. That's, a, that's pretty okay. I mean, 700 yards, what, nine touchdowns? Yes. So that's seven we their team in rushing. <laughs> he's thrown for, he's thrown for 1,645 yards and 15 touchdowns, one interception. And, Malik, and he's also run the ball 98 times for 700 yards and nine tutties. That's not bad. Mm-mm. It's a few. I mean. It's a couple. That's... He's accounted for what? Seven. Twenty four touchdowns? Yeah. About. Yeah, I mean I think it'll be a couple more this weekend. Uh this Saturday. And that's a seven thirty. Couple, Eastern yes, time. please just be a couple. Just I two. mean a couple can be Couple's like two. two. A couple is two. Uh I'm a decent amount. I'm thinking like four, six. That's a few. That's a few. But um, uh, I mean it can be a seven to three ball game in the end. Seven to three. How about the seventy three? Seven. I don't think that it ain't over till it's over. It ain't yeah. over till the fat, fat lady, lady sings. sings. Yeah, exactly. exactly. And go. I'll go ahead and sing right now for you. Ah, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, <laughs> moving on. All right, and then the interesting thing that starts Wednesday. No. I think Wednesday. College basketball returns. Woo-hoo! College basketball returns, folks. We uh, play the twenty third, something like that. Twenty fifth, yeah, something. something like that. When is Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving is the twenty sixth. Sixth. Oh, yeah, we play the 25th. Yeah, I mean, I think everyone opens that night. Uh, 25th. Playing in some random tournament. I think we're playing Charleston Southern. Mm-hmm. They're not bad. I actually got to see them play last year. They're yeah, not a bad that, squad. That dude got drafted to the Hornets uh-huh. from Charleston Southern the other night. Really? Yeah. Average like 20 points a game. All righty. Well, the 25th, you've got Georgia State at Georgia Tech, and that's a 9 o'clock game. <laughs> I've got the Yellow Jackets. Big there. Um the running Bulldogs of Gardner Webb, I've seen them play, and they're a very good team. Now, like, don't get me wrong. I mean, they could easily go into Cameron this year and pull off a sneaky upset. Uh, they very could. They they're they were in the tournament last year. They're a very good team. Two years ago. Well, yeah, two years ago. The most recent tournament last we had. Year, <gasps> um, <I'm gonna> <laughs> last tournament. Um they last. they could 
Yeah, that was sad. 2019. 20, yeah. Opening good. day is the 25th, which is Wednesday, and yeah. there's some games on uh, Ah, And then you got the College of Charleston, another Big South team. Or, no, no, excuse me, that's the Colonial? Yeah, CAA. Yeah, something Colonial like that. Colonial Athletic Conference. Yeah, the CAA. Where Elon Colonial. plays. Yep, uh, they traveled to Chapel Hill to face the number 16, Tar Heels of North Carolina. Why is there a College of Charleston and there's also Charleston Southern? I don't know. It's like Raleigh North and Raleigh Southern. Yeah, it, it doesn't make any sense. Um, then the Demon Deacons are playing in the Mako Medical Wake Forest Classic. There you go. Um, Wake they, Forest Classic. <laughs> they, they host Delaware State. I got, the, I got the mall. I got the Deeks big. I can sue Delaware State. Yeah, yeah. Delaware. Yeah. Um, and then you've got the Radford Highlanders. I've seen them play, too. They're a very good Big South team. Uh, they travel to Blacksburg. Face the Virginia Tech Hokies. Virginia Tech lost a lot last year. Virginia Tech has lost a lot of production in the past couple years. In the past couple years, um, still newer coach. Uh, Second year. Yeah. After old Buzz dipped for Texas A&M. Yeah. What's the deal with ACC coaches dipping to Texas A&M? Mm-hmm. It's a question that millions of Americans are asking themselves every day. Well. Ah, that's a tough one, but I think I gotta go Hokies. But I think it's gonna be a close one. Folks. Yeah, I'm going I Hokies. think it could be a close one. What do you think, Buckshot? In-state rivalry game. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, There's always a chance. In-state okay. game. That's an in-state. That is I an in-state Virginia game. Tech's gonna be able to pull it out. I yeah. agree. Uh, in Bubbleville, you've got the Virginia Cavaliers, and they're playing Maine. In the what state? Now? Maine. Bubbleville? Yeah, it's called Bubbleville. You see that right there? The heck is that? I think it might be That's a tournament where bubbles or something. Were invented. That's where <laughs> the bubbles were invented. Oh my gosh. Um I'm going Wahoo's by Wahoo. I think Absolutely. by twenty because you know, the defense. Are you kidding me? Twenty? I think they're gonna have like a twenty five, thirty, yeah. something like that. You know that kid from Holly Springs is gonna be playing this year? That's right. Yeah. Wahoo. Kaden yeah, Shedrick. Kid. Yep, there's a kid from Holly Springs High School that plays. Yeah, he's 6'11", big, huge dude. Yep. Dunk, dunked on kid at Fuqua. Absolutely destroyed his career. That, that doesn't surprise two me. Two years ago. Yeah, I mean, he, he um, didn't have to jump but dunk. He, he, but, he, <laughs> but, he, but he did. And he flew through there like this. And I, yeah, he's like, woohoo. Okay, okay. Superman. Wow. Now, Louisville <laughs> playing in the Wade Houston tip-off classic right. against Evansville, the team that upset Kentucky last year in Rupp Arena. Oh, whoa. whoa. Slow whoa. your roll, like folks. Whoa. Yeah, I get Louisville easy, though. Yeah, I got Louisville by, like, 30. Louisville. <laughs> <laughs> it's Louisville. Slow your rolls. And then pick Louisville by 30. And the 2K Empire Classic. You've got the Villanova Wildcats, number three team in the nation, facing the Boston College Eagles. <laughs> What's our excuse of a basketball team? Villanova. <laughs> Villanova. Villanova. Nova all the way. Nova. Big here. Dun, 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 wild, wild crap. Uh, St. Francis, wild, wild, wild Pennsylvania crap. travels to the Panthers' home to play the Pittsburgh Panthers. Why? None, none of these games are even. Con- no. We don't even have to think twice about any of these games. Pitt. Um, I'm going with the Panthers. Yeah, Pitt, absolutely. Uh, Charleston Southern. <laughs> what? We just had Charleston. No, that was <laughs> Colgate. And now North Carolina State. No, it says Charleston. Do you not see that? What the heck is uh, this? College of Charleston. Anyways, we got the Charleston Southern. I think they're the Buccaneers. Yeah, the Buccaneers. Like Something with the sword. Yeah, it's some pirate-looking thing. Um, Arg. And the North Carolina know. State Wolfpack. And the Mako Medical Wolfpack Invitational. You're welcome. We like founded that. Mako, yeah. Um, Just to add water. I'm going to go with Kevin Keats' squad this yeah, one. No, Kevin duh. Keats' squad. I think the pack's going to pull it out. And honestly, this might be the closest game in the, in the I, ACC right now is the Clemson-Mississippi State game. That, That's ooh. two actually Power 5 teams facing I, off Yeah, here. I'm so. going to pick Clemson. I, Clemson had so many upsets last year. It took them a while to get mm-hmm. going. But if they can build off what they had last year, then I like Clemson. It's, Clemson's a dark horse to win. Yeah, year. they're they're a dark horse team. That They're a very scrappy team. Brad Brown, now a well, great they always coach. always are a scrappy team. They're always very scrappy. They finally beat uh, – Carolina at the Dean Dome. Yeah, yeah first time ever. Yeah, absolutely. So, I like what Clemson's Third looking Dark like. Horse. Yeah, I like what Clemson's looking like. So, yeah. Be, had a banner year last year. Be, the only three teams that were ranked in the ACC, well, besides Virginia. Virginia was at the end, so they don't. Did, did Virginia win the ACC? No, they didn't. Did they? We didn't really have a winner of the ACC. You talking about tied. last year, too? Yeah, last year. 
Nobody. Well, I mean, no one won the ACC tournament last no, year. No, regular got season. Regular season, I... I think it was Virginia. I, I want to say Virginia and maybe oh, someone like else was tied. They were tied. I, th- I know Virginia was up there. Who beat Virginia? Who almost beat Virginia, though? It was a very close game almost. to McCamus. Well, yeah, well, I know. Who almost beat Virginia? I sound like yeah, a state fan in the Georgia Yeah, you do fan. sound like a state fan. I do. Who almost beat Clemson by third. Moral but victors. <laughs> who almost beat Clemson if they had ended it in the second quarter? Yeah, we would have beat Clemson twice. Like, shoulda, woulda, coulda. <laughs> shoulda, woulda, coulda. That's the story of my life. Absolutely. The NC State story. <laughs>